Hey, what's up you guys? Stan the Mountain Dew Man back again. We got a treat today and I got something special for afterwards. So here we go. Let's get right into it. This is Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. I know last time I showed you guys the can that I had, uh, but here's a, a close-up of it and we're going to do a quick little taste test. All right, so check it out. So this can, 55 milligrams of caffeine, okay? One serving size, of course. Let's check it out. All right, so we got a light green color. Light pale green kind of. All right, let's get that guy in there. Nice and cold. All right, you get that nice, strong apple smell. A nice, crisp apple flavor. Not too sweet. It's really good. You get, you do get that citrus flavor in there. Uh, medium carbonation, you know, typical level for a can. I, I really like this one. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, like I said last time when I was showing you guys the can. So, I need a little bit of help here. I'm trying to figure out the right way to do my ranking system. Okay, so give me your input and let me know how to do it. Should we do on a sweet scale or just do a 1 to 10 scale, carbonation scale, multiple scales? Let's figure this out together. So, normally I've been doing like a 1 to 10, of course, with Thrashed Apple. I think this one's like a nine, okay? It tastes really good, it's one of my favorites, but there's others that I like a lot better. But it's not, you know, like my low end would be like Johnson City Gold or Distortion, those kind of things. I'm not a fan of those. And same thing with um, with the Christmas one, the uh, gingerbread flavor. Not a fan of that one either. So the other treat that I have for you today is a watch that I have. I told you about it in one of my videos before. Here's an up close shot of this guy. Let's see if we can get it in there clear. Uh, I don't know if it will. I think the reflection. But anyways, it's the same as the label right here. So looking at the watch, um, I did some research. I still have never seen anything like this one before. Okay. But this one, it's got the label from the early 90s on it. So, and looking at it, it reminds me of, do you remember those Taco Bell tables that they used to have with all the, you know, the little specks and stuff in it? So it reminds me of that. So I'm thinking, okay, the 90s for sure then. So the watch company is MC&T. Um, they're a European company. Um, it says they've been making watches since 1982. Um, and this is a Japanese movement watch, uh, the genuine leather, it's from Hong Kong. So, I mean, all kinds of different people made this thing. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the watch is too small for me, so, uh, probably made for a younger kid. Um, I don't know, but I've never worn it. I leave it in the case cause I'm using it as a collector item. So it comes with a case with foam in it. Um, and it just sits nicely inside, just like this. So, yeah, I thought this was really cool, so I picked it up. I found this at an antique shop uh, when I was driving through Montana, actually. Kind of a random place to find Mountain Dew stuff. But, anyhow, it's pretty cool. Uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if you like these videos. If you like the, uh, the drink review in the beginning and then a cool thing afterwards. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you. Um, so we can do that. Um, or if you've got any other ideas for me that you'd like to see, just let me know. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later.